posso fare solo questo. Signor Sindaco, io mi sono scritto due righe perché... Mr. Mayor, I wrote just a couple of lines because I am a little shy and thought that I might get a little bit emotional, so I didn't want to lose the sense of what I'd written. I thank you for this important recognition that you've given me on behalf of the city of Padua. A city that in a few months I've learned to love for its beauty, but above all, for the industriousness and civic sense of its citizens, for the solidarity and generosity they have shown in these days. They really impressed me, and I'm sure that in this difficult transition of the so-called phase two, they'll be able to respond to the challenge. But what is the challenge? The challenge is to keep the transmission down. We today have delivered this city with three to four cases every day, numbers among the lowest in Italy. Here, it certainly depends on the citizens to preserve what has been delivered to them. Here, the important measures to take every day in order to break down the transmission. Social distancing, masks, be careful not to see too many people. Because unfortunately, the more people you see, the more chance of getting infected increases. The institutions, for example, in particular the region, the municipality, but also the university and the hospital, will do their part as they did previously. The company has exponentially increased its ability to make swabs and make diagnoses, which has certainly allowed it to somehow control the infection here in Veneto. I thank you, Mr. Rector, for the nice words you said. I come from Imperial College, which is one of the most important universities in the world, and I would not have come to any other Italian university except here in Padua. I want to say this because Padua is one of the best universities in Italy, and after six months of stay in Padua, I can certainly say that this fame is deserved. I found extremely competent colleagues, a dynamic environment in which science is done at the highest level, so I certainly would not go back in my decision. What you call an important contribution to fighting the epidemic, I could never have carried out on my own. So it is only right that I should now thank all those who have contributed to achieving this goal. First of all, my thanks go to the staff of the complex unit of microbiology and virology, who for two months have been working tirelessly day and night to respond to an ever-increasing number of diagnostic requests without sparing and without ever complaining. I thank the management of the hospital. Dr. Floria and Dr. Nonato are here and they've contributed with lucidity and determination to making the hospital of Padua a reference point in Italy, showing everyone how to prevent the hospital from becoming an outbreak of infection while ensuring normal community performance. I remember the days of the first cases when we met and helped establish the strategy to defend the hospital. Because our goal has been to defend the hospital which has 1,800 beds and 8,000 in healthcare personnel in Padua. 15,000 people altogether every day inside the hospital. Imagine if the hospital in Padua had become an outbreak. Veneto would have been exterminated. This is a recognition that I want to share with you, because without that planning, it would not have been possible to be today with such a limited number of infections and a limited number of people who unfortunately died reaching low levels of transmission of cases. I want to thank the citizens of Padua, who in recent days have made important donations to the Molecular Medicine Department to promote research against the virus. It was moving to see people from all walks of life who donated according to their availability. A special thanks 
go to the citizens of Vaux, who en masse participated in three epidemiological studies helping to unveil previously unknown aspects of the transmission dynamics of the epidemic. They have set an example to all of us of generosity and trust in science and institutions. Mr. Rector, you were in Vaux, and I'm sure you were moved by seeing all those families who brought the trembling children to have their blood taken. It was truly a scene that still moves me when I think about it. I want to thank the many friends who helped me not feeling alone these days. And I owe a special thought to Mrs. Christina, a neighbour who often, when I came back late at night, made me find something to eat by the door. And I also add that it was quite good. Finally, I thank my wife, who accepted this long separation and never let me miss her support and love. Mayor, it is a great honour to receive the seal of the city of Padua. Thank you all. It has been a privilege for me to serve this community.